Hello and welcome to the Fast Reports Academy. In this lesson, I am going to show you several features of FastCube.net. Let's begin. First, let's look at the source table. The data consists of a list of orders. And each order has a field that describes the amount of products in it. There are two measures in this slice. Both of them calculate the sum based on the amount field. They are about the same except for their totals. There is an option in FastCube to use a separate aggregate function for the totals. Right now, both measures have average as the function for their totals. But the total values are different. To better demonstrate how this was set up and how this functions, let's switch the function in both measures to count and disable the separate function for the totals. When calculate totals on totals is disabled, which is the default setting for a measure, the total function goes through every data entry. In this case, we get the count of the data entries in each category, summed in the total value. But when calculate totals on totals is enabled, the total calculations are done only on the values that you see, the measure values. So in this case, the function just counts how many totals we have. This may be more useful if you are using some other function. For example, average. Now we know the average count in each category. And also the average for the categories. And this should give you an idea on how calculate totals on totals functions. Now let's look at another example of another feature. In this case, there are two departments and in each one there is a group of managers. There is a total calculated for each group. And we can collapse them to make data more readable. Grouping is easy to configure. Select a few fields and then decide the action. Let's imagine that the departments got restructured. Three people from the department 1 now work in the newly formed department 3. To reflect the change, we'll select them and choose Move to Group in the Contacts menu. And then select Create New. Choose a name for the group and press OK. And there we have it, a new group. If you want some fields to be outside of a group, you can select Move from Group. Note that this will not delete the group itself. Right now a group is empty but isn't being displayed. To delete or rename a hidden group, add a field to it. Then you can do that from the context menu. And of course, you can do that with other visible groups at any moment. This was today's lesson on FastCube. If you have any questions or suggestions, leave them in the comments. And be sure to check out other videos on the channel. At this moment, there are playlists for videos about FastCube and FastReport.net. And links to them are in the description.